All right, YouTube, uh, back in the shop. I hope everybody had a great Christmas. So I am back in the shop. Didn't want you to think I was slacking <laughs> or anything, but I was. I was slacking. I was enjoying the holidays. Let me open up the hangar door here. So uh, we got the, uh, got the um, fuselage on the, uh, the cart, and man, Took three of us, but we got it. It was uh, it was fun, <laughs> but uh, worked out perfectly. Uh, everything aligns the way it should. Um, the only thing is, is that when Vans ships you the uh, the fuselage, um, they put these blocks of wood in it. Here, um, might be better to take these out. I mean, the 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 alignment is better. I can see without them on there. But hey, they're it's there it's in there um and it rolls rolls really really nice and uh, and everything so uh so we were able to i was able to get that done the other main thing is fuel tank number two is uh in the rack and it is being pro sealed i'll share with you guys a little bit uh of that uh there's my pro seal um mixing table and and everything but uh yeah i wasn't slacking it's just a lot of um a lot when you get parts from vans especially you know sets and stuff there's a lot of inventory and that's what you see there so i've been spending a few days getting the inventory done all the parts and pieces finding ho new homes for them uh like the uh, windows and and all of that but uh yeah so not really slacking i will tell you this uh, long cart that I built has been phenomenal, especially there's a lot of long pieces that come along with the fuselage need to be stored. You can see there's a quite a few more pieces up there. So we got that done. Um, the, I, I got to figure out and I, you know, I don't want to go out and buy a gantry, but it, it's basically just me working on this airplane. Now I, Danny comes in and helps me and stuff, but, uh, when he can but it's just basically me and i will tell you moving that thing around is a nightmare <laughs> so so that is the uh the uh that's the canopy um so moving that around and i can see that putting it off and on as i go to fit it on to the fuselage is going to be a pain i you know a lot of guys will use a gantry and they'll lift it, lift it up and down with a pulley. And I think that's probably what I'm going to have to do. I was thinking about getting a motor mount kind of crane or whatever, not crane, but a motor mount uh, system with the, but I don't think it will reach where I need it to reach. So I'll probably end up getting a gantry. So stay tuned. I'm not there yet. I still got fuel tanks to finish. Um, I did get the rivets in. Uh, yeah, here's a good video. Um, so, I'll show you guys this. So, I did get the rivets in. <laughs> Man, I got some a lot of rivets. If you need any, let me know. I'll be, I can send some to you. Um, one of the things, though, is they are too long for the for the material and the rule of thumb is you take the diameter of the rivet and you multiply it by 1.5 and then you add it to the thick and plus the thickness of the material and that tells you where the rivet should be cut so this one here um, so these rivets had to have been cut down to 7.9 millimeters I'm, I use millimeters as my point of reference, um, as I show you a video. So this is uh, my cutting tool. You can get these on Amazon, a rivet cutter, pretty simple. You just uh, set your, your your height and you just cut them. Um, so I got them cut. So yeah, so the rule of thumb is you take the, like I said, the diameter or the thickness of the rivet itself, of the tail here. So then that came out to 4.75. You multiply that by 1.5 and then you also add the material thickness so if you had two pieces here you would add 0 0.75 plus 0 0.75 plus 1.5 times 4.75 you guys get the idea there the math 
and that tells you how long the rivet needs to be. And it come it came out to 7.875. Uh, I cut it to 7.9 um, millimeters. Those are millimeters, right? So, um, so I got those cut and and everything. But uh, yeah, if you need rivets. I got I got a bag. It's one thing I don't like. Well, I understand why Vans does it, because I can't imagine after going through all the parts that we get, doing them by by pieces, right? By pieces. But I know that they use tar weights the way these things out. So I don't know why you can't just call them and say, "Look, I need 50 pieces, charge it." But it is what it is. I got half a pound, and I got a ton of rivets. <laughs> That's what. The, on a rivets um so uh if you need rivets to seal up your fuel tanks let me know i've got some be glad to send you a few <laughs> so so yeah so we got that done like i said i am uh i'm working on the second fuel tank now getting that all pro sealed up um i got two done today i'll probably come in here tomorrow and finish the other three uh it is amazing um how quick things go when you've done it before uh and so uh yeah things are going really well i can tell you that 50 grams i've done two ribs now and i use 50 grams of the of the pro seal so it's actually 55 grams total because you do 10 percent by weight 10 to 1 i mean 10 to 1 by weight um but uh uh, 50 grams will definitely give you enough to pro seal a ribbon and that gives you extra so your fillets if you look so you can do your fillets um, and everything uh, squeeze out I set my gun pressure a little lower than I did on the last one so I don't have as much squeeze out because I'm not putting as much material uh, on the face as I squeeze it together there's not enough there's not enough probably but it works. Um, I just go back and I just, like I said, just touch up. Um, it, it, you know, horseshoe saying grenades. It looks pretty good. So yeah. So that's about it. Just want to let you guys know, not slacking. Well, I have been slacking. It has been the holidays, spending time with the family, but I'm back in the shop. And man, the thing is just, is that awesome? Poof, <laughs> piece of lush. Um, I will tell you. Uh, I believe looking at the fuselage, if you can afford it, um, get the quick build fuselage. If you can afford it, do the quick build wings. I had the quick build wings, but I was in that group of um, where they had some quality issues. This, I was told this fuselage came from Brazil, from the Brazil factory, not from the Philippines, um, is what the truck driver the guy that delivers these said he, he firmly believes that they came from, uh, this one came from Brazil. These are the newer ones uh, versus the Philippines. I don't know where they came from, but that's what he says. I have to go with what what, what he said. Um, so, yeah, so we got uh, all of this in. I You know, one thing I did notice, they do a lot of blind rivets. So something tells me I'm going to be taking out a lot of rivets. Um, I do know for like the steps have to go under this deck and they blind riveted this down. I, I haven't looked at the instructions yet, but something tells me um, it's going to be fun getting the step in there where this blue bar is. It gets replaced and then there, in here it's riveted down uh, and locked in place. So just little stuff like that. I, I don't know. I'll, uh, when I get there, I'm not there yet. I'm still working on the wings, but man, it's, it's just beautiful. So uh, it's it's just it's just beautiful to look at. So, yeah, that's about it. Just wanted to let you guys know. Um, back in the shop, getting things done. I got three more ribs to do, and then I've got the outers to do. And now that I have the rivets in, I can do that. Uh, one of the things I would recommend: I went through these bags, restapled them, so I don't lose. There's a lot of little parts, a lot of um, a lot of washers and stuff like that. And, and I'm not ready for them yet because this is part of the fuselage. I'm still on the wing section. So what I would recommend is I love these rigid, I'm gonna go get some over at the Home Depot. Uh, these rigid 
uh, containers. So what I'll do is I'll put all of these bags and these loose parts in a rigid and then I'll put it up on the shelf um, for storage. But yeah, so that's what I've been doing. Opening up bags, closing bags, counting parts <laughs> and stuff. There's a lot. Even I can't imagine how many parts there are on this uh, fuselage if I was to get it. It is by far, uh, it, it's pretty complex, guys and gals. There's a lot. There's a lot of parts. <laughs> I was looking at it the other day, and there's a lot of stuff there. So, all right, well, enough of that. I'm going to get home, spend some time with the family so I get back in the office tomorrow. And, uh, wow. So our parachuting club is going to, they're going to do some jumping. I might go watch a little bit, but, but yeah, just want to let you know, I have not slacked off and uh, been in the shop and uh, well, I, yeah, you know, it's, it's holidays, right? But uh, they're over, back on my head. Gotta go back to work. So with that, be well. If you have any comments or questions or whatever, you know, feel free to drop them in the, uh, in the comment section if you need some 316 rivets for, um, for doing, sealing up your fuel tanks. You know, drop me, drop me a line or DM me or whatever, and uh, I will, um, I'll get those to you because I got plenty <laughs> and and everything. So, all right, like always, be well and and may God bless you, keep you guys safe over the, the holiday season.